I've been using Thomas Stewart Potter's Wheel ever since I started Red Star Studios in Kansas City in 1998. We bought 16 wheels when we opened the studios and half of them ended up being Thomas Stewart and I immediately fell in love with the design. I love the large aluminum built-in splash pan. It gives me something very stable to lean my body into. Uh, as I'm throwing, I, I kind of wrap my legs around the wheel and lean into it from one side or the other and kind of allows my legs to act like a rudder as I'm throwing. It kind of increases my stability and gives me a, just a, maybe it feels like a little extra strength while I'm working. At first I was concerned about the large aluminum splash pan uh, for, from the sake of cleaning out, but it's actually very easy access because the, the wheel head just lifts off. And I have really grown to, to appreciate this shape. A couple of years into using it, I called up Tom Forte and, and said, gee, Tom, the wheel would be so much better if it had adjustable legs. And he said, I'll make you legs any length you want. And I said, well, uh, I don't always want the same length. Some, some days I'm uh, standing up, some days I'm sitting down, and being able to adjust it up and down in a nuanced way is a real advantage. And, and Tom said, well, that would um, interrupt the structural stability of the wheel. There's nothing available that would work. And I said, well, I know you can do it, Tom. I have ultimate faith and uh, six months later, he begrudgingly showed up with a, with a design for adjustable legs that is really incredibly stable. I've never had one move on me. A couple of years ago, Thomas Stewart Wheels was purchased by Scott Kilns, and I'm happy to report that the quality is every bit as good as it ever was. And really, the only thing I've seen that's changed is the, the nameplate. They're great wheels, and I can't see a need to ever look further in a wheel. They give me everything that I need in a potter's wheel. One of the latest innovations in Scott Potter's wheel is the SSX controller, and it's made what was already a great potter's wheel into something even better because it's now smoother at low speeds and it's even quieter in operation. Uh, I really value sensitive adjustment when I'm just starting the wheel from a stop and the SSX controller really excels at that. I've spent the last 15 years uh, throwing on a wheel at a uh, where I'm sitting on a high stool. I had a student once that tried to convert me to um, standing and throwing because that's one of the best ways for your body that you can throw. But when I stand, I always feel just a little bit unrooted, like I don't, like I'm not locked into anything. Uh, my solution was to sit on a high stool. And so uh, sitting on a high stool gives me the flexibility to, to sit. And also, if I have my my pedal and foot rests, I can kind of change my position based on, on what I'm doing. And the, the more you can change your position, the more comfortable over time you're going to be and the less uh, damage you're going to do to your body. But uh, the ideal way to throw is, is with your spine and your legs straight. That's why standing is so good. But by sitting on a high stool, it, it lessens the uh, the angle between your your spine and your legs. One of the worst things you, that you can do as a potter is to sit like this all the time. That's really hard on your back. It's to your advantage to, to, to sit at a somewhat higher level than most wheels are designed to be used. <laughs>